a very good morning my dear brothers and sisters today again we are going to learn about the angels we are continue our previous class we are going to know the complete information about angels so far we learn four things first one creation of angels and second how did he create the angels and third how many angels there are and fourth when were they created so these four things we learn so far my dear brothers and sisters once again i am telling many people have many different opinion about the angels and the argument about angels also exist among christians many people they are arguing about the angels and somehow their own opinion and their own thoughts about the angels there is nothing wrong with anyone having their own opinion and having their own thoughts but we should never have our own thoughts or opinions when it comes to the bible so this is a very very important we must change into the bible's opinion but not the a word of god into our opinions the problem with many christians it is that many christians take god's word to the heart of what they think instead of going to the heart of the bible many people have different opinions about the angels but what the bible says is our standard my dear brothers and sisters if the bible teach us the right thing we change our intention if our intention is wrong because our final authority is the bible so please uh, if you are uh, uh, using modern new versions please change into the king james bible select the king james bible because this is a pure word and preserved by our lord jesus christ so my dear brethren please if you are using some other corrupt version please uh, choose the right one the king james bible now we are going to know the complete information about the bible so far we learn four things today we are going to learn fifth one or angels male or female or neuter so many christians believe that angels do not have a gender okay many christians uh believe that jesus uh, sorry many christians believe that angels do not have gender they are also think they are neuter some christians angels are neuter they think and some other think they are female okay other think they are female and in christianity some other people also there what they think do you know some people may think that angels are female or male and whatever they are they are angels if they are male so what if they are female so what if they are neuter so what 
some Christians think like this. But that is very dangerous that because when the Bible makes a clear statement, it is our responsibility to realize it. So our responsibility to search the word of God. Yes, they are there. But if Bible makes clear statement about whatever we need to uh, search that uh, responsibility my dear brothers and sisters and let's see how the devil deceives in the form of angels in coming class my dear brothers and sisters you will really need if you have been taught that angels are women with wings or children with wings or neuter with the wings you have been thought wrong that's not truth my dear brothers and sisters if you if you think they are female they are neuter they have wings if your opinion is like that it's hundred percent your opinion is wrong and your thought is wrong if you thought uh, some other preachers like this, they are also wrong, my dear brothers and sisters. The Bible tells us exactly how angels look and what kinds of angels there are that God has created. In the name of the Lord, please correct your uh, thoughts with the scriptures that angels are not gender. So this is very, very important, my dear brothers and sisters. For the gender of the angels is very clearly written in the Bible. So our duty is to search the word of God. Our responsibility. So Jesus Christ said, if thou are loving me, you should search the scriptures. So uh, you know the scripture very well. So angels they have gender so this is the thing uh, <clears throat> some christians they think angels do not have gender some christians they think angels are neuter some christians they think angels are female but this is a wrong my dear brothers and sisters they are not genderless, they are not neutral, they are not female. If I say like this, uh, when I mention that angels have gender, some of you run to some verses in the Bible. Uh, Matthew chapter 22. Matthew chapter 22. Uh, verse 23 to 30. And some some of you run to some another verse mark the gospel of mark chapter 12 verse 25 and look gospel of luke chapter 20 verse 35 and 36 so some my uh, some brethren Run to these verses and please read these verses, my dear brothers and sisters. Matthew chapter, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 22, verse 23. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and rise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, uh, deceived and having no issue, left his wife unto her, uh, his brother. Likewise the second also, and the third unto the seven. And last of all the women died also. Therefore in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven 
for they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do ill, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. And Mark chapter 12 verse 25, the gospel of Mark chapter 12 verse 25. For when they shall rise from the dead, they neither marry, neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. And the Gospel of Luke, chapter 20, verse 35 and 36. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. After you read these verses, you may say, See, Lord Jesus himself said that you will be like the angels in heaven. You will not marry, you will not marry. Because they are neuter and therefore you will not marry. Some Christians, they think like this and they convert their opinion like this, my dear brothers and sisters. Many use these scriptures to prove that angels have no gender. But that is uh, uh, completely wrong, my dear brothers and sisters. What I want you do, uh, to do again is, if you say from those verses that angels have no gender, please, Read it again and again and again with the prayerfully, my dear brothers and sisters. Because Jesus is not talking about their gender differences there. Okay? If you read these verses again, Jesus is not talking about their gender differences there. But in the resurrection, they will be like the angels in heaven. He said only that. And he said, uh, uh, does not marrying and not being given in marriage means they have no gender? Please think my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus is not talking about their gender differences there. But in the resurrection they will be like the angels in heaven. So he said that. And one question for you my dear brothers and sisters. Does not marrying and not being given in marriage means they have no gender. Just think my dear brothers one second. Does not marrying and not being given in marriage means they have no gender. If you think that is true then how in heaven is Jesus going to marry the church? Tell us, my brethren, how our Lord Jesus Christ going to marry. Jesus, he himself said, they neither marry nor are given in marriage. Even though he said, again he going to marry the church. Soon after rapture, how is possible? Tell me, my dear brethren. After after we resurrected, he going to marry us. Amen. It will going to happen very soon. So we all are waiting for that. You and me, we all are this universal church waiting for. So think, after hearing all these things, let me ask you one more question. If you think they are neuters, there will be no gender after the resurrection. 
Jesus is the first fruit in the resurrection of the dead. Okay, if you believe or not, the Bible says Jesus is the uh, first fruit in the resurrection of the dead. First is the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what was he look after his resurrection? This is my question to you. If you think after resurrection, they are neuters. If you think angels are neuters, Jesus said, Oh, after resurrection, you will be equal with angels. So if you think angels are neuters, so after, uh, after we uh, resurrect, re resurrection, after we also like neuters, like angels. If you think like this, tell me the question, uh, tell me, my dear brethren, what was he look, uh, what was he like after his resurrection? The reason I am uh, telling you all these things is to ask you not to say that angels have no gender. They have gender. So after all these questions and answers, what makes sense to us after many things is they are never sexless. They never sexless. They are either male or female okay another thing we need to understand is that angels are not neuters okay uh, remove your uh, thought if angels are neuter okay bible uh, bible not saying they are neuters now another question is angels are male or female we uh, we came uh, we came to conclusion angels are not neuter now again in gender there are two remain male or female now question angels are male or female this is our question now. Angels are misunderstood by many even when clearly stated in the Bible. Angels are sexless is a heresy that came from the Alexandrian cult in Alexandria, my dear brothers and sisters. If you check very carefully the uh, references in the, uh, uh, if you check very carefully the references in this video you will find there is no sexless angels anywhere in the bible okay i am going to show you many verses so please read them prayerfully the bible makes it very clear who they are again i am saying that there are more than 200 modern versions are there only the King James Version is the pure and perfect word of God, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's take KJV Bible and read because that's only God's word. If you uh, want to get confused and learn confusing things, you can run to another Bibles, means modern Bibles. It's available in the market. Okay. If you want to get confused and learn confusing things, if you want teach or preach confusion things, you can run to another modern versions like NIV, NKJV, ESV, NASV. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, uh, it's available in the market. You can go and uh, weigh in your money and take that Bibles if you want confused if you don't want confused my dear brothers and sisters you should understand the truth please accept and uh, read the authorized version King James Bible so please turn your Bible with me these verses there are 
so many verses my dear brothers and sisters because we need uh, uh, angels are male or female because many people are uh, taught by wrong their intention their opinion are uh, totally completely wrong about the angels we need to correct ourselves with the word uh, please turn your bible with me this verses uh, genesis chapter 16 verse 7 genesis chapter 16 verse 7 The word angel first occurs in the Genesis chapter 16 verse 7. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way to Shuar. The word angel first occurs in Genesis chapter 16 verse 7. And now come to our question. Angels are angels male or female? This is our question. So to that question, uh, uh, we will see answer from the Bible. This is not my opinion and this is not my thought. So what the Bible said, I am telling. Genesis chapter 18 verse 2. Genesis chapter 18 verse 2 Okay, I am reading from verse 1 And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Marme, Mamre And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day And he lift up his eyes and looked and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, My Lord, if you I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servant. So my dear brethren, here mention three men. So three men, in that one is the Lord and other two is the angels. So uh, three men in the two are angels, two angels are called my lords in Genesis chapter 19. Genesis chapter 19 verse 1 to 2. So here Genesis chapter 18 verse 2. They call men. Okay. Please keep this in your heart. And Genesis chapter 19 verse 2, 1 to 2. Uh, please turn your Bible with me. Genesis chapter 19 verse 1 and 2. And there came two angels. Okay. Two angels. To Sodom at even, and Lord sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lord seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face to uh, toward the ground, and he said, Behold, now I, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. See, my dear brethren, my lords, two angels are called my lords. And Genesis chapter 19, verse 5. What uh, Sodom people saying, Lord, Genesis chapter 19, verse 5. So, uh, 19, verse 1 says, 
and there came two angels okay and verse 2 uh, lord calling my lords and verse 5 what sort of people saying lord and they called unto lord and said unto him where are the men which came into thee this night bring them out unto us that we may know them see that they are uh, call, uh, called unto lot and said unto him where are the men where are the men okay angels uh, they call men genesis chapter 22 verse 11 to 12 Genesis chapter 22 verse 11 and 12 And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said Abraham Abraham and he said here am I and he said lay not thine hand upon the lad neither do thou anything unto him for now I know that thou fearest God seeing thou hast not withheld thy son thine only son from me here he said verse 12 or uh, verse 11, 11 and the angel of the lord in verse 12 he there mentioned he he the angel of the lord mentioned in next verse he and genesis chapter 31 Genesis chapter 31 words again 11 and 12 please turn your Bible with me Genesis chapter 31 words 11 and 12 12 and the angel of God spake unto me in a dream saying Jacob and I said here am I and he said again you see he in verse 11 angel of the lord means angel again here he called he and Genesis, uh, exodus chapter 23 exodus chapter 23 verse 20 21 and 22 please turn your bible with me exodus the book of exodus chapter 23 verse 20 21 and 22 behold i send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which i i have prepared beware of him and obey his voice provoke him not for he will not pardon your Translations for my name is in him, but if thou shalt instead obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. See, my dear brethren, he again, he and his, and Jude chapter. Oh, sorry, Judges. Judges chapter 13, verse 6. Please turn your Bible with me. Judges chapter 13, verse 6. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came unto me, and his Continence was like the continence of an angel of God, very terrible. But I asked him not whence he was, neither told he me his name. See, here also mention he, his. And likewise, Genesis chapter 6, verse 1 to 4. If you read these verses, uh, turn your Bible with me. Uh, we have a look at verses, my dear brethren, because uh, reference is very, very important. 
references is very very important so Gen genesis chapter 6 words 1 through 4 and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of god saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they choose and the lord said my spirit shall not always stray with men for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of god came in uh, came in unto the daughters of men and they were they bare children to them the same become mighty men which were of old men of uh, renown see my dear brothers and sisters here genesis chapter 6 verse 1 through 4 they call sons of god not daughters of god okay and job chapter 1 verse 6 please turn your bible with me my dear brothers and sisters uh, job the book of job chapter 1 verse 6 Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. See again sons of God. And chapter 2 verse 1. Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them to pre uh, present himself before the Lord. See my dear brethren. They are called sons of God. Whether they are fallen angel and they are holy angel. They both are called the sons of God. Okay. Uh, we are going to learn some more things about uh, uh, two groups of angels. So we can uh, learn more things in that. Now come to the New Testament. So this verses, all verses uh, in Old Testament. So come, now come to the New Testament. Matthew chapter 28 verse 2 and 4. 2, 3, 4. Matthew chapter 28 verses 2, 3, 4. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door, and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. See here also, they, uh, they mention he. Matthew chapter 28, verse 2 to 4. If you read there, they also mention he. And Luke chapter, the gospel of Luke chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. Uh, please turn this verse. Luke chapter uh, 1, verse 11 and 12. And, and there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him there mention see him and second corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 and 15 second corinthians chapter 11 
second corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 and 15 and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose in shall be according to their works so they mention ministers and revelation chapter 12 verse 7 and revelation chapter 17 verse 7 and revelation chapter 18 verse 8 and revelation chapter 19 verse 17 chapter uh, revelation chapter 20 verse 1 and 2 revelation chapter 22 verse 9 if you read this all verses my dear brothers and sisters you came to conclude that angels are male angels are male they are not female they are not neuter okay please read these verses in the bible there are called men they are not women they are men they are not female they are male after we read these uh, verses many are confused even though it is very clear written in the bible that they are men so this all scriptures are telling angels are male they are not female gender discrimination is not mentioned in the bible until genesis chapter 1 verse 20 my dear brethren an amazing thing happened when gender discrimination came up in the bible this happened not only once but twice in the bible but this was not the case with the angels let's see what it is let's see why it didn't happen with the angels too my dear brothers and sisters genesis chapter 1 verse 20 21-22 Gender discrimination is not mentioned in the Bible until Genesis chapter 1 verse 20 An amazing thing happened when gender discrimination came up in the Bible uh, Please turn your Bible with me Genesis chapter 1 verse 20 and God said let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fall that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven and God created great whales and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wind fall after his kind and god saw that his was good and god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let fall multi multiply in the earth and this is the one uh, first time the gender discrimination mentioned in the bible so in the beginning uh, God created heaven and the earth so he created heaven and the earth we seen uh, some things uh, uh, about creation uh, pre previous class my dear brothers and sisters here an amazing thing happened so he created some living creatures so in that he create male and female Again, they are not mentioned male or female 
you may think like this but read verse 22 if you read verse 22 it will tell you there is a uh, uh, he uh, god created male and female uh, verse 22 and god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let falls multiply in the earth so god bless like that be fruitful means without male and female there is no fruitful my dear brethren uh, without male and female there is no multiply okay and genesis chapter 1 genesis chapter 1 words 26 27 and 28 if we, if we understand this word then we will understand here there there is male and female uh, is there so please uh, please try to understand my english my dear brothers and sisters genesis uh, chapter 1 verse 26 and god said let us make man in our, our own image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he uh, he them and God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish over the sea and over the fall of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth they are mentioned male and female okay so here uh, genesis chapter 1 verse uh, 22 22 here we see some living creatures in which uh, there are female and male i think until god created these cre uh, creatures on the fifth day there was not a single female creature my dear brothers and sisters come to genesis chapter 1 verse 26 27 28 god in this verse created adam into his own image and then created eve from adam's bones and means female when god created some living things male and female then he blessed them he said you be fruitful he said uh, you multiply you prosper genesis chapter uh, 1 verse 22 god gave this a same blessing to adam and eve genesis chapter 1 verse 28 but in the case of angels god did not bless them like this okay keep this in your mind my dear brethren in the case of angels he created male and female so some living creature he blessed be fruitful and multiply and prosper and again he created uh, male and female means adam and eve male and female so he again he also blessed them be fruitful and multiply and uh, prosper my dear brethren but in the case of angels god did not bless them like this can you tell me why again i am telling there is may uh, in the bible he created male and female genesis chapter 1 verse 20 he created male and female genesis chapter 20 uh, 1 verse 26 both the time he blessed how he blessed be fruitful multiply why he blessed 
like that because he created male female male female male female that's why he blessed be fruitful and multiply in the case of angels god also created the angels god did not bless them like this why why because angels are spirit beings because angels they are men whenever god created the female god blessed on both occasions that you be fruitful you expand you prosper but in the case of angels god did not bless them like this because angels are spirit beings they are men in the bible and they are innumerable so god created male and female uh, to uh, to be fruitful to multiply but in case of angels they are innumerable when god created them he created innumerable angels and they are men so that's why uh, he not bless like that i hope you understand you may say that angels are uh, referred to as it here and there in the bible you may uh, uh, you may say that angels are referred to as it okay it it means sometimes female or sometimes neuter the word it uh you may say that angels are referred to as it here and there in the bible if you they are not female you may ask why they are addressed that way okay maybe your question like this why they are addressed that way it for this my answer please turn your bible with me genesis chapter 1 verse uh, sorry chapter 3 verse 15 chapter 3 verse 15 please turn read it again and again uh, genesis chapter 3 verse 15 and i will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shall bru- uh, bruise his heel see my dear brethren do you realize who god is talking about in this verse he talking about our lord jesus christ so this is the first prophecy about our lord jesus christ and if you think so uh, uh, jesus is addressed as hit this in this verse so jesus addressed it and if you think so what is your answer to the text it is our a uh, mistake in some cases to think that they are female just because they are described as it so my dear brethren if you think genesis chapter 3 verse 15 here it shall bruise thy head okay it shall bruise thy head and thou shall bruise his heel it it means our lord jesus christ again down there mention thou shall bruise his it means his 
okay so if angels are addressed as it means they are because they are females they are they address it if you think like that please give me answer to this reference okay my dear brothers and sisters angels are male they are spirit beings they are men in the bible they have gender so this all references telling that my dear brothers and sisters so now <clears throat> i'm uh, moving forward to sixth uh, title sixth uh, this is a very uh, you may think some funny but this also very very need to know about the angel so sixth one age of angels okay age of angels can you tell me how old the angels are do you know can you know how they spoke and what is they looked uh, i think uh, before class we learn uh, before the earth they were created so for earth how many years we don't know uh, so their age is very higher age my dear brothers and sisters angels are spirit beings but every angel in the bible that appears uh, appears as a young man okay this is a very very important <coughs> when uh, god created them when were god created them before the earth uh, before the earth uh, job chapter 38 verse 1 through 8 if we read these verses <coughs> we know uh, but angels are spirit beings we know very well but every angel in the bible that appears uh, as a young man even though they were created before the earth still they are young man a 33 years old male their age 33 years male even though they were created before the earth still their age is 33 years <laughs> every angel in the bible is spoken as uh, spoken of as a young man uh, please turn your bible with me mark the gospel of mark chapter 16 verse 5 the gospel of mark chapter 16 verse and entering into the sepulcher they saw a young man see they saw a young man sitting on the right side clothed in a long white garment and they were uh affrighted see my dear brethren they mention a uh, young man oh you may think he is uh, only a young man like me <laughs> no my dear brethren he is the angel 
uh, if you re read same uh, verses Matthew chapter the gospel of Matthew chapter 28 verse 1 through 8 if you read Luke gospel of Luke chapter 24 verse 1 through 9 they mention clearly the angels and uh, verse 6 they are uh, they are mentioned and he said unto them be not affrighted he seek Jesus of Nazareth which was crucified he is risen he is not here behold the place where they laid him but go your way tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee there shall ye see him and he said unto you and they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre for they trembled and were amazed neither said they anything to any man for they were afraid see so in this verse also some people think uh, mark chapter 14 they are mentioned about young man with uh, uh, possessed by devil so they think that young man some people but that's not correct my dear brothers and sisters he is young man and he is an angel so their creation was before the earth okay their creation angels before uh, god created before the earth even though they created before the earth still they are young man okay young man angels have no age limit my dear brothers and sisters uh, they remain the same before as they were when they were created we see in some paintings or images they look like little kids or old people which is totally wrong they are always the same age now question is how old they are did you know exactly our lord jesus christ uh, earthly age 33 years old so when god created them he created 33 years of age if you study your bible carefully you will find that jesus christ is called the angel of god or the angel of the lord acts chapter 27 verse 23 and galatians chapter 4 verse 14 please turn your bible with me acts chapter uh, 27 verse 23 For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve. Galatians chapter 4 verse 14. Please turn your Bible with me to the book of Galatians uh, 4 verse 14. And my temptation which was in my flesh, he despised not, nor rejected but received me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. So, my dear brethren, Jesus Christ, when he died, uh, went back to glory as a 33 years old male. He is called the angel of the Lord, before and after resurrection. So, please keep this in your mind, your heart, my dear brothers and sisters. He is a 33 years old male because when Adam uh, fell, he was 33 years old. Uh, this is why Christ is called the last Adam. This fixes the age of Adam's fall, the age of Christ's death, the age of a young man. The uh, eternal state for the believers conformed to Christ's image and confirms the uh, eternal destiny of the born again child of God, a son of God. As a sinless, 
परफेक्ट थर्टी थ्री इयर्स ओल्ड मेल रोमन चैप्टर एट वर्स ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लीज टर्न योर बाइबल विथ मी द बुक ऑफ रोमन्स द पेजल ऑफ रोमन्स चैप्टर एट वर्स ट्वेंटी नाइन सो आफ्टर वी डाई दोज यू आर बोर्न एगेन डाई दे विल बी as a sinless perfect 33 years old male my dear brothers and sisters so romans chapter 8 verse 29 for whom he did for uh, for known he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren and first john chapter 3 words uh 1 2 and 3 please turn your bible with me the first epistle general of first john first john chapter 3 words 1 2 and 3 behold what manner of love that father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not beloved now are we the sons of god and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him see that like him so our lord jesus christ after his res- resurrection also he uh, 33 years old male so after our resurrection also like him because we are his image there is no sexless angels anywhere in the bible nor is there uh, an angel anywhere in the bible that has wings if you think angels have wings that's also 110% wrong my dear brothers and sisters quran tells us uh, angels has 600 wings so others uh, uh, are funny thing my dear brethren but in the bible uh, there is uh, no wings to the angel an angel is an appearance not a messenger every uh, uh, every angel in the bible is an appearance of something although not necessarily a messenger my dear brothers and sisters the angels are wingless 33 years old male looks like a man acts like a man talks like a man so they are young man okay my dear brethren the seventh one the seventh information about the angel seventh information about the angel angels are immortal angels are immortal jesus christ has made it very clear that angels do not die luke chapter the gospel of luke chapter 20 verse 3536 the gospel of luke chapter 20 verse uh 35 36 but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage neither can they die any more uh, see this verse neither can they die any more for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of god being the children of the resurrection see 
Jesus also said that hell prepared for the devil and his followers. He also said that they will be there forever. About, uh, he say, uh, Jesus said uh, that hell prepared for the devil and his followers because they also uh, 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 they also not die my dear brothers and sisters Jesus Christ has made it very clear that angels do not die so angels are immortal and yet one okay 